Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Boma and I'm a content creator based in the UK. If this is your first time of stopping on my channel or the first time of stumbling on my videos, I would love it. I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. Don't say I told you. It's absolutely free. So I do content around trending gist. I do content around what to do and what not to do when migrating to the UK. I also do story time and I'm a lifestyle blogger. So if these are the kind of content you would like to watch, you'd like to hear, you'd like to see, please just help me hit the subscribe button and turn on the bells because those two go hand in hand. Seriously, those two. You cannot press that red one, you do not press the bell. Ah, it's as if you did not even press the red one. So the two go hand in hand. Just help me subscribe. Thank you for stopping by on this video. So let's dive right into this video. So um today I'm going to be talking about the yeah, the last in the last video, I talked about most of the negative <laughs> facts of moving down to the UK. Today I'm going to be talking about most of the positives of moving back to, uh, moving down to the UK because where there's negative, there's always possible. Where there's good, there's always going to be bad. So today we are going to be talking about all the good things you can achieve or all the good facts that come with moving down to the UK. And one of which to me is your career. Like, um, I see the UK like where you can, you can grow in whatever, in whatever career path you have chosen. Like, Coming from Nigeria, I used to do mass communication, but over time, I wanted to switch into something that I could actually fit into perfectly because of my kind of personality and because of maybe what I intended to do over time, you know, where I intended to work over time. So coming down here has helped me understand that if you put in work, unlike back home, you know, if you put in work here, you're actually going to get to that particular career position or that particular career job or that particular, I don't know how to explain it, but you're going to ascertain that particular thing you want. You will grow in that particular career. You will grow in that sector you have chosen to build for yourself. So coming here and doing human resource management, it has helped me understand that I don't need to, I don't need to search for a job so much if I can get to work as an intern over under certain people that will lecture me, that will teach me, that will help me grow, and I will definitely fit into those positions I have so long to be in or so long to work in. So it actually also helps for your career goals. So these are one of the like interesting facts about moving down to the UK, your career. And also, there is no age limit for any career. Like in some countries, like some countries in Africa, if somebody at 50 or 40 says, oh, I want to start doing nothing, people look at you like, at this age, I don't get it. But here you see a 40 year old person is going back to school because he feels like, oh, I think I made a mistake in my youthful days. I think I need to go back and revisit this science course or revisit this i think this is my area let me go and revisit this part i think this will favor me more so you see people going back to go and revisit the career maybe they woke up and dreamt about you know so it's easy to switch careers here it's easy to just wake up and be something you want to be and it, it makes life so beautiful over here it is it is so sweet trust me it is so nice and it is so sweet so Another thing is the immediate response to health emergency. Oh, I cannot emphasize over this so much. Like, God bless you, England. Yes, yeah. The immediate response to emergency help, like uh, emergency calls, like this is what every country needs. This is what everybody, every human needs. This is what everybody wants. Like, I'm dying and you die. 999 or you dial 111 or you dial the country emergency health number and they come pick you up in the, in less than in less than 10 minutes ha ah, it's sweet so oh. it's sweet so oh. it's sweet so oh. i won't lie to you it's very very sweet and it's very very nice it's very nice and it's very interesting and it's very satisfying it's very comforting to know that if something goes wrong you dial the number 
and the team in charge of that particular emergency step out in less than 20, in short, 20 minutes is too much, 10 minutes and they are on to you. Even the fire service here, as in just a little ring and they are on to you. It's so, so sweet. It just makes you feel like you're at peace. You're sleeping and you're at peace in a country that values life. So these are one of the true facts or one of the good facts I enjoy or one of the, the things I enjoy about um, moving down to the UK. So if your intention are to move down here and you are longing for a country that values life, a country that values health and all those human life in general, the UK is for you. You're very welcome. So another one is the good transportation system. Like, I don't know how they do it. Like the bus. Oh my God. Entering the bus is so, so sweet. Like every 10 minutes, so I think it's every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you miss your bus. There's another one coming. The roads are good. You're using your Google map, the navigation. Everything is so accurate. Like there's no bad spots, no too much traffic because one agbore is holding somebody down somewhere because the person has not paid for tickets or one last night is jumping on the driver steering because uh, he has not uh, he has not settled the boys you know we don't get to see these things so everything is moving like the country is fine <laughs> everything is moving smoothly if you're the type that likes your sanity you're the type that doesn't want to die of bp because where i'm coming from they almost gave me bp heart attack heart attack I was in a bus one time. Let me give you a scenario. I was in a bus one time. The bus was going to um, the bus was going to Rumola. I live in Portacot. For most of you that are very familiar with the Portacot roads, you know where Rumola is. I was living in Rumola, so I I, I bought the bus. So the bus was going to Rumola. We had not even gotten to Rumokuta. The next thing I heard on the bus was boom, 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 or more with my phone. I felt. My heart, my heart entered my mouth. I was like, Jesus. I was like, blood of Jesus, what's happening? And I looked around. It was this Aboro boys, these stouts. They were asking the driver for, is it ticket money or bus stop money? I don't, all those, come, so if you know what those money they collect for from those drivers are called, I beg, leave it in the comment section because I don't even know what the money is for. So they were asking for their money, Sha, or their cuts from carrying passengers. And that was why they were hitting this bus. I felt... Like something exploded or I felt the bus I was in had gone in fire or something happened, my dear. My, I felt pain in my, in my chest for two days. So, if you like your sanity, if you're the type that you want to just be living life and let life be living you. Like, you want to live life and let others live. True fact, the UK is really peaceful. I can attest to that fact. The UK is really peaceful. Yeah, transport system, peaceful, road, road, peaceful. I don't I don't get to hear people honing all the time like they do in Nigeria back home. I I make emphasis on Nigeria more because that's where I'm from. But coming from other African countries, so I think they hone. Apart from South Africa, I think we we hone too much. So but here you don't hear them honing ping 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 on the road so much. So that's another thing and another fact about the UK that is actually sweet and interesting. So um um healthcare here is free but it's not free let me explain why i said it's free but it's not free another interesting fact about the uk is the healthcare system i like the way it's built trust me you might feel like it's expensive why do i need to pay for healthcare every year but there are times you might not have money the uk hospital walking as far as you have paid your health insurance just walking Tell them what the problem is. They will attend to you. Maybe all you might need to pay is for paperwork and all. Like, I had a friend that was telling me of um, a student in the UK. She came for studies. So, she had this um, she had this accident on her legs or on her hip joint, somewhere like that. So, back home in Nigeria, they, they actually put in... I don't know whether it's an iron inside it or... But when she got to the UK, maybe because of the cold or something, she started feeling pains there. And she had been carrying this thing for two years and she spent over two million naira on this operation or over three million naira on this operation. I can't remember how much it was. But she walked into the hospital in the UK. When they looked at it, they were like, wow, this... How did you survive on this metal? This metal pattern of surgery or whatever it is, 
is now outdated and hospitals don't use this anymore but anyways um, we're going to book it in and we're going to take it out and we're going to fix it up put the new one put the latest one whatever it is it to be taken care of all you need to pay is 30 pounds Eh? the girl was like you said what all you need to pay is 30 pounds you're like you mean i'm not paying for this he said no you're not paying for this so imagine the joy she now paying for her nhs fee i'm sure she was like oh it's too much it's too much but when it got to that point where it became a life and death stuff, I'm sure she didn't have even three million in her account, but she was attended to just like that and paid for only paperwork. So these are one of the sweet things you're going to be enjoying. If you are moving down here, these are one of the sweet facts, one of the sweet things, one of the sweet facts you're going to be enjoying if you're moving down here. So another one is, um, the schooling for the children. Uh, if you are coming here with kids below 16, they are going to be enjoying the benefits of not having to pay their tuition fee or what I call it the school fees because I think the government sort of state, the government takes care of that. And I think that's why people complain about the taxing in the UK. But me, I don't mind though, like your kids are going to school for free from 3 to 16. They are not paying school fees. So, why are you worried about how much the government is taxing you? If you have to be paying school fees with the standard they have here, if you have to be paying school fees for your children from that age to 16, that tax money being taken from you is actually going to be more or it's even going to be more or even equivalent to how much you have spent over the years these children are going to be schooling. So it's a give and take thing. So this is one of the true facts, one of the positive facts about you moving down here so the last but not the least in short this is the last <laughs> so this is the last one the last one is the ability to take up jobs like the ability to get jobs is that one marvels me like without experience you can get jobs easy jobs like um um, what they call them? These people that arrange stuff in the sh in the show. Replenish assistant. Um, you can be a care assistant. They'll train you without having so much experience. You find yourself in the UK. Any little small small money that can actually foot your bills and help you live the life, the baby girl life. Like it's so sweet that you come into a place and you're being accepted. You're being you're valued. That's how I see it because. Sometimes you have to compare things to where you're coming from. Even if you say, okay, home is home, home is home. Yes, we are on stand. I'm not trying to say home is not home here, but there's nothing like you going on your laptop, searching for jobs, and you're getting responses from employees. You're getting, sometimes I can apply for a job, like I can apply for 10 jobs in a week, and eight of them are actually going to interview me. I'll now be the one to be making guy and selecting like, mm, mini, mini, money more. Father had a donkey, donkey died, father died, mini, mini, money more. I don't get that luxury where I'm coming from. So what I'm trying to say in essence is without your experience, without any experience at all, you can have a job to fend for you, fend for your family, fend for people back home. Like, as in, what else are you looking for? What else do you want? So these are the true facts about moving down here. And I truly, 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 truly love it. Yeah, I truly, truly love it that without experience for people coming without experience or for people coming with their kids that are 16 or 18 or 20 they are eligible to work they are allowed to work they're allowed to express themselves they can go to work and also make money while being under your roof like is this not what we are praying for every day going to church and praying for every day in nigeria let my kids have a good life let my people why people here are already living the baby girl life they're already living the the prayers you're asking for so these are one of the true facts about moving down here. This is my version because I am from Nigeria. I am from Africa. So most of my analysis are my comparisons to people coming from Africa. So I don't think this will apply for those moving from the US or those moving from very, 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 very developed countries. So this might not be the case for you, but for my brothers and sisters moving from Nigeria or Africa or for, from or any other African country, this might be the case for you. So these are the true facts I've just stated out. And I hope you enjoyed this video because 
I did enjoy talking to you guys. Please hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. Hit it. Oh, yeah. There's a bell there. Turn on the notification bell. All right. Oh, yeah. Give my video a thumbs up. One like. One like. Don't be stingy. One like. All right. That's okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, please be interactive in the comment section because this my channel is a small channel and, you know, I need to see interaction so that it will ginger my swagger, ginger me to do more. Eh? I hope you understand. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Sometimes I can be so playful. I just hope my subscribers will understand. I'm a very, very playful person. I'm an extrovert. I'm loud. That's how I am sometimes. So please just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and give my video a thumbs up. God bless you so much. Thank you all for watching. Bye.